So how do we divide a number when we can see that that number is not in the table that we're counting up in? So we've got 8 divided by 3. If we know a 3 times table, we know that 8 is not a multiple of 3. So let's try that with some counters. I've got 8 counters. So divide by 3 tells me to split them either into 3 groups or into groups of 3. I'm going to split them into groups of 3. Either way is the same answer. So there's 1 3, there's 2 3's, and then I've got some extra ones that are just left over. There's not enough to make another group of 3. So if I have a look at what I've got, I've got one group of 3, two groups of 3. So 8 divided by 3 is 2, and I've got 2 left over. So we call that the remainder. So I can write 2, remainder, 2. So I could make two groups because two lots of three is six and I've got two left over. I can write it as two remainder two or quite often we would write either two and rem two or even just two with an r to mean remainder two. So if we didn't want to use counters to work out this calculation, then we're just using our tables. And we know we're counting in threes, so if I write down the multiples of three, three, six, nine, I've only got eight to start with, so I can't go as far as nine. I have to stop on six, and I can see that that's the second multiple. I've counted three twice. Three, six. So there's my answer of two. And the remainder is just how many I need to count to get from that six, the six counters I've used up, when I started with eight. So it's just counting, counting up from six, seven, eight. It was two more, my remainder of two. So if we look at another calculation, we've got 20 divided by 3. So without using any counters or other apparatus, we could write down our multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 21 goes past the number we've started with, so we can't use that one. So how many threes, how many groups of three could we get if we have 20 altogether? One, two, three, four, five, six. I could count in threes six times. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. If I know my tables, then I know that three times six is eighteen and I can use that multiplication fact. And it's not exact, because 3 times 6 is not 20, it's 18. So I know I need to count on from 18 to see how many more it is to get to 20. So 18, 19, 20. So it's 2 more to get to 20. So my answer is 6, remainder 2. Now, one calculation that might seem a bit tricky and can easily catch you out is a calculation like 3 divided by 5. So what I've got to be careful about here is that I'm starting with 3 and I'm counting up in 5s. So 3 is smaller than 5 and if we look at that with counters, if I've got 3 counters 
and I try to make groups of five, how many groups can I make? None. I don't have enough to make a group of five. I'm starting with three. To make one group of five, I would need five. I haven't got that many, so my answer is going to be zero, but I have got some left over. I have a remainder, and my remainder, because I haven't used any of those three, is three. So three divided by five is zero. I could make zero groups, and I still had all three of them left.